Hi, Mike Leahy of BookUp.com. Uh, say that you've got a copy of Chess Openings Wizard and you're interested in, in uh, switching to a, maybe a stronger engine, one of the free engines. And I happen to know there's one out there uh, called the Komodo Chess Engine. Let's just search Google for that and see what we find. Sure enough, KomodoChess.com. I go there and there is a commercial version that you can buy. You just click here and buy it. Dun, dun, dun. How much do they want? Oh, they want $49.95 for it. Let's say you want the free version now. So I'll back up here and go down here where it says Download Komodo 5, which I'm assuming is a previous version than the Komodo TCEC. And here, um, my browser comes back and says, what do you want to do? You want to open it or save it? Um, I'll go ahead and save it. Well, then I've got WinZip running. Yeah, but you may not have WinZip running. So I'll select Save so I can see what you're going to see. We're going to save this file that we're downloading right now. Once it's downloaded, then I can click here and see the progress, at least in Firefox, of what's being downloaded. And sure enough, I've got a 1.4 megabyte file of Komodo 5-zip. Now, I need to know where this guy is because I need to open him up. So I'll click here on the, the folder and give that a second until it comes up. Once it comes up in that folder, I'm going to double click where I see Komodo 5.zip. Now this is a zip file, which means it's a file that contains other files. So I'll double click on it. And on my machine, I actually have a program called uh, WinZip, which will open it. Uh, WinRAR. I don't know. I forget which one I'm using right now. Actually, I think it's WinRAR. I usually use WinZip on the other machine. So after it's up, let's see. Take a look at that window. And we'll close this guy to remind me to buy the version. Okay, now we've got it. We've got a folder called Komodo 5. This guy I can right click and, and I want to extract. Extract, where are we at? Just extract the specified folder. If I just click on Extract 2, it should actually do what I want here. But in, in Windows, it will usually just show you the compressed file. Um, so you may not see things like I'm seeing right now. So I want this guy created somewhere else. And let's find out where I want it. For me, I think I want to put it directly into Program Files, uh, where the program is installed. So I go to here to Computer, Drive C, and then I want to go to Program Files x86, just in case this is a 32-bit version, version of the program. And I go into Book Up, and inside of Chess Openings Wizards, the program we got there, there's a folder called Engines. And inside of Engines, I already have folders for Crafty, Ruffian, and Stockfish, and I'm about to add the one called Komodo 5. So I'll do that. Click OK. Now, in your version of Windows, it may uh, give you a message saying you need security to do that. Go ahead and click OK because you, you need permission to put things in the program folder. Now that we have Komodo's folder installed inside of uh, BookUp's Chess Openings Wizard, I'm going to run Chess Openings Wizard, and we're going to switch to that engine. Once Chess Openings Wizard is up and running, all we need to do is just open up any ebook. And once we have an ebook open, Click over to an ebook window there. We want to go to Edit and then go to Program Preferences. Let me move that window down there so you can see it. So now we have Program Preferences and we can see what it's currently set to. It, you can click on here to select any engine, and engines always end in .exe. And it's showing us the engine we're currently selecting. The, 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 uh, ugh, the nickname we have for it is Stockfish32 and that's a UCI type engine. Almost all engines are UCI type engines these days, so only select Winboard if you know you have a Winboard engine. Otherwise, it's almost always UCI. And down here, it shows me exactly where this guy is located. So I'm gonna click on Select Engine, and wait for that guy to come up. So it's currently in the Stockfish folder, and it's this is the engine it currently has selected. So let's go up one folder. That's what this guy does right there, up one folder. And you can see Crafty, Ruffian, and Stockfish. And for some reason, huh, the, um, the Komodo engine is not here. I wonder where I actually put it. Hang on, let's find out. It does turn out that the Windows security on my Windows 7 system is keeping me from moving this folder into the Program 86 folder. So what the heck, let's just move it someplace else and see if we can get it to run. Let's extract to, and I'm going to stick it in drive C in my chess openings files. And I don't know, maybe put it in, uh, not the ebooks, temp games. Maybe I'll just put it right there in, in chess openings files. So now I have a Komodo 5 folder inside of chess openings files. Let's switch back over to uh, chess openings wizard. Now in the engine tab, I want to select an engine. 
and go back to Drive C and then go to Chess Openings Files and I should find a Komodo folder. There we go. So now we have one for Linux, one for Windows. I'm on Windows right now, so I'll go in the Windows set. And there's a 64-bit version. I'm actually running on a 64-bit version of Windows, but just in case, I'm going to run the 32-bit version. So I grabbed that guy. So now my engine selected is now selected from Chess Openings Files, Komodo 5, Windows, Komodo 5R1, probably release 1, 32-bit. And it's set to UCI. Now I don't want the... the uh, the engine nickname to be Stockfish anymore. I want it to be like Komodo 5. So I'll change it to Komodo 5 and then select OK. So now my engine is set to Komodo 5. Let's find out what happens when we click on Start Engine. Komodo 5 starts running. How cool is that? So it starts giving me the, uh, the best line and the second best line for whatever position I'm looking at and it's running.